Hello everyone, it's your Sunday granny. I'm so glad to see you. Everyone give me a thumbs up if you're here to learn more about God. Me too, so let's get ready. But first, I have a question. Would you happen to have a ball, a rubber ball at your house? I have one that's not a rubber ball. Uh, my grandsons would use it like a rubber ball if I let them. It's a ball of yarn. I have a sheep ball, but I can't find it. It's somewhere around here. Either the dog or the kids have gotten it to play with it. But I've got mine, a ball of yellow yarn. So I want you to go get yours. I'm going to count to ten. And you go get your ball of yarn, uh, your, your ball, not your ball of yarn, just your rubber ball. And make sure it's a soft ball, okay? Not a hard ball, because we're inside the house, remember. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Everybody back? Got your ball? All right, hold those balls up so I can see them. All right, all right, good job, good job, yep, good job. Okay, now I want you to take that ball in both hands and hold it out in front of you. Okay, you got it there? Now count to three. One, two, three. Now take the ball and turn to the left. With just the ball, not your whole body, just the ball. One, two, three. Now go to the right. One, two, three. Now go down. One, two, three. And back up again. One, two, three. Now, can you put it behind your back and count? One, two, three. And bring it back around. One, two, three. Good job. Now let's see, can you toss it up a little bit and catch it? And can you toss it from your right hand to your left hand? And from your left hand to your right hand? Oh, I'm glad I did. I wasn't sure I could. Okay, now, can you put it on your shoulder? Now, can you put it on your stomach? Now, let's put it on our heads. Now, what does this remind you of? See if it'll balance on your head. Can you make it balance on your head? Looky there, Miss Linda can. Woo! Looks like sort of like a crown, doesn't it? Well, our story today is about kings and queens. So, I think our clubhouse kids are ready for us. So let's go watch the story about kings and queens and how God is helping them. And I'll be right back. When you are with me, 
I am feeling brave when you are with me. I am not afraid, God, you are with me. So I can be strong, cause nothing is too hard for you. No, with you, I can. up the toys, are you? I am, Ollie. I am super strong and can pick up all of these toys. Your arms can hold a lot of toys, it's true. But there are other ways to be strong, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Twist ought to do it. Ha <laughs> Oh, hola, friends. I'm Luis, the handyman. Look at this. It's an awesome weight rack I just finished putting together. See? You can put the weights on it to store them. <laughs> Lifting weights can make you strong. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of strong, that reminds me of a story. Do you want to help me build it? Great, let's put it on the store fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Today's true story from the Bible begins with a king looking everywhere for the most beautiful woman to be his queen. The king had his people search and search to find the perfect queen. Well, guess what? They found her. Her name was Esther. The king was so happy that they found her and they got married. Then, there is this guy. 
His name is Haman. He worked for the king, but he did not love God. In fact, he had a plan to do something very mean to Esther's family. One day, Haman told the king that he should get rid of a whole group of people, God's people. When Esther heard this, she was so upset. The king didn't know that Haman's plan would hurt Esther's family and friends. Esther knew she could not let this happen. Esther loved God with all her heart, but going to the king to ask for his help would be scary. She knew she might get in big trouble for going to see the king without being invited. But Esther knew God was with her and that he would make her strong. So Esther asked the king if he would come to dinner. Then at dinner, Esther was strong enough to ask the king to stop Haman's mean plan and save her family and friends. The king said yes! He would save Esther's family and friends. God helped Esther be strong and courageous, and that saved the people. God was with Esther, and that helped her be strong. And God can help you be strong too, because he is always with you. <laughs> hey there, Ali. Tell me, who is always with you? God is always with me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me. Who is always with you? God is always with me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you later. Adios. So there's your story. And it's all true. God helped Esther be strong. And God can help us be strong, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow! God helped Esther be super strong and do the right thing. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you say got it, get it? Got it! Good! Using my arms to hold all these toys isn't the only way I can be strong. God can help me be strong on the inside too. Stay strong everyone. I'll see you guys next time. The Lord our God to help us. 2 Chronicles 32 8. We have the Lord our God to help us. 2 Chronicles 32 8. That was a good story, wasn't it? I enjoyed that. And it comes from where? That's right, the Bible, where all our stories about God come from. And they are true stories. Every story in the Bible is true. And this story comes from the book of Esther, the queen that we were to, uh, saw the story about today, okay? And it's chapter 2 through chapter 8, verse 17. And it tells how Esther had the courage because she had help from God to save her people, the whole nation, okay? All right, now, can you remember the story? We know it was about Esther, but who was she afraid of? That's right, she was afraid of the king. Now, why would she be afraid of the king? She's the queen. Well, because no one was allowed to visit the king unless he called for them, okay? And she had to get the courage up to go see the king without permission. But he loved her, so he let her come into the court, and he talked to her, and she explained to him that she wanted him to save her people. Now, there was a bad guy in the story. Do you remember him? Haman. 
He was jealous because the king listened to what Esther had to say. And he didn't like that. And he didn't like Esther's people. And he wanted them all to stay as servants to the king. But he got caught, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Bad deeds never go unpunished. He learned that God is with Esther and her people. And the king declared that God is the leader, right? Okay. Now, let's see if we can do our memory verse. You can do that? Okay, let's try it. Here we go. Remember, this is the last Sunday of the month, so you need to know your Bible verse because next Sunday we have a brand new one. Here we go. We have the Lord our God to help us. Second Chronicles 32, 8. Okay, let's see if we can do it. We have the Lord our God to help us. Second Chronicles 32, 8. Very good. Let's do it one more time, okay? Just to make sure we've got it. We have the Lord our God to help us. Second Chronicles 32, 8. Right on. Okay. I've got a game for us to play right now. It's called The King Says. So everybody stand up if you're not already standing. And when I say the king says, you do it. But if I don't say the king says, then you don't do it or you're out of the game. Let's try it one time. Okay. The king says, jump up and down. You jumping? The king says, clap your hands. Keep jumping. I didn't say stop jumping. The king says, stop jumping. The king says, stop clapping. Move to your left. Move to your right. The king didn't say to do that. So if you moved with me, you're out. See how it works? Okay, now let's do it a little bit longer and let's try to follow. Listen, you only do what the king says to do. King says, clap your hands. King says, stop. King says, do the windmill. King says, stop. King says, touch your nose. Stop. <gasps> king didn't say stop. Whoa, you got to be careful about that. Remember, the king says you have to follow the king's rules. That's how Esther had to do. She had to follow the king's rule, but she was courageous enough to go talk to the king without permission from the king. So she was very courageous, wasn't she? And our God helps us all the time. He is with us every single minute of every single day. And if we know that, and we believe that we can be brave even when we're scared. Brave people are not always unafraid people. They just know God's there to help them. So they go through their fear and become courageous. Remember that. Okay? All right. So we've had a good time today. I've enjoyed being with you. And I look forward to seeing you in October next week. And we all know what comes in October. Think about it, and we'll talk about it next week, okay? Everybody sit down now. Get close. Fold your hands. Bow your head. Close your eyes. And let's talk to God, okay? Here we go. Dear God, we are so strong because you are with us. And you are the strongest. Help us remember that we can be strong when you are with us. Just like Esther, when we remember that you are with us, we can do anything. Thanks for being awesome. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. See you next week, boys and girls. <laughs>